In his book entitled Ordinary, author Michael Horton says, quote, Whenever a new generation announces its radical and totally unprecedented culture shift, there's an evangelical movement that pressures churches to get on board if they want to adapt and survive the next wave, end quote. Uh, it's this quote that kind of makes me want to vomit, <laughs> to be honest. You know, first off, comparison is the thief of joy. And I don't think that needs any explaining. Secondly, if there's ever a passage I assume that churches would want to use to justify this adaptation that uh, Michael Horton speaks of, maybe it's 1 Corinthians 9, 19-23. This classic scripture, we know the phrase, be all things to all men, something Paul boasts about doing. You have to understand, though, that this passage of scripture is about Paul surrendering his rights. He says, I'm a free man in Christ. He's saying things like all things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial. In verse 33, I try to please everyone and everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many that they may be saved. You see, this is the passage where he says things like, to the Jews, I became a Jew in order to win the Jews. To those under the law, I became as one under the law that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, and so on and so forth. You see, be all things to all men is about finding common ground to relate to, to be able to win somebody over for the gospel's sake. It's not about conforming. You see, you speak to the core of who someone is. You're not following blindly culture's shallow trends. You're connected to the inward man, not an outward fad. Be all things to all men to, quote, get in as many people through the church church doors as possible isn't about blindly replicating fancy lights, hipster clothes, and sexy logos. That's joining a movement, and every movement dies with this generation. Sustainable change in our communities, I believe, begins and ends with faithfulness. Faithfulness every day, ordinary demonstrations of Christ through his Holy Spirit. Connecting with someone over shared family discord and dysfunction, equal socioeconomic status and struggles within, mutual tribulations and trials, similar educational endeavors, familiar forms of employment, shared desires to share religions of faith, passions of sports, cars, the arts. You see, in verse 19 in this passage, it says, making myself a servant of all. And that's, that's the key phrase there, making myself a servant of all. We serve by, quote, counting others more than significant than ourselves and uh, taking to the interests of others. Philippians 2, 3 to 4. We identify by intention who someone is and we connect the dots to our own story to win them over. An example would be me sharing my brokenness with a juvenile inmate at the Seattle Juvenile Detention Center where I was a chaplain for many years. You see, I would share about uh, my family's discord, our parents' divorce, adultery, alcoholism, mental illness, and things of that like, not having a father in the home. And it's when you share those things, you begin to win that person over because now that person is relating. Now that person can confide in you and trust you that you have something to bring to the table. There's nothing servant-like in joining the next sexy church trend. A concert-like atmosphere, dressing like your celebrity pastor, starting a Christian TikTok. None of this is founded upon making yourself a servant. And so I suppose I'm just sharing this uh, to try to dissuade uh, anyone from joining any of these church trends that we think are going to honestly win people over. Uh, I think it's found more in the ordinary disciplines of everyday life in being an authentic witness to Jesus as his disciple uh, through daily obedience, living by his grace, and just what that'll do, the fruit that you'll produce day in and day out. It's not flashy, it's not glamorous, but these are the things that are ultimately going to uh, win others over when we lay aside our rights like Paul did and make ourselves a servant of all.